Hello, so let's talk about um, complex oscillators today. Uh, so this is where we get into a really big difference between East and West Coast synthesis because, you know, forgetting compositional differences um, because East Coast is a little more nody, I guess is the way you would put it. Um, West Coast really gets into electronic instruments can do things that acoustic instruments can't do, like things far beyond notes. It's more like textural things. Um, and the complex oscillator is what gives you access to the, a lot of those things. Um, so the instro on the left, this is kind of more of the standard design of a complex oscillator where you actually have two built into one module and you set up, you can set up some interactions in between them. Um, the surge here is, this is just one oscillator, but it gives you the variable shape, um, which is what we're looking for. Um, so remember, you know, from the beginning, we talked about oscillators are what shape. Um, so what a complex oscillator gives you is complex shapes. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so what does that mean? You know, you see this, we'll start here with the surge. It puts out, you know, pulse sign, triangle sign, you know, like think normal stuff we're used to hearing. Um, and we can, you know, demonstrate that. Okay, so pulse wave, sawtooth, triangle, and sign. So normal stuff. Um, and we are using a low pass gate because this is sort of integral to the West Coast sound is we're controlling harmonics. Um, so we're using the the actual VCA to control harmonics um, through a low pass gate, and we are controlling harmonics through our shape of our actual wave. So what does that mean? Um, you notice I have a variable output here. So we've got standard shapes, but we've also got some other shapes that can happen. Let me turn this up just a little bit. I'm trying not to blow out people's ears. So we go from sign, basically, to, and we're, we're just using wave folding, and we're adding harmonics. Okay. And this gives you CV access to that. Um, so what that means is we can assign a sequencer or a function generator or any kind of thing to this thing and it will move this knob for us automatically and that's where we get into this more textural approach to sound um, so with that in mind let's look at the instro um, now this thing is incredibly unique and it's just bananas the way it works so if anybody wants a deep dive into this let me know um, when i first bought this i spent about a week with the manual just playing with the thing. Um, so again, we have two oscillators this time. We have some pretty standard shapes. We have, you know, sines and triangles and saws and squares. Um, just to give you an idea. Okay. Uh, let me turn that down just a bit. Okay. And we notice we have fluid tuning here, so I can take... You know, all the way from subsonic to sonic. Uh, here's the square wave. Um, so these are sort of set up with an interesting pitch relationship where kind of the bottom is seems like it's more intended to be a modulation oscillator because it has a much lower subsonic range. Um, so with that in mind, let's look at the final output. So this is the same thing as like the variable wave shape, right? So we don't really hear much because there's almost no harmonics. So you can hear we get these wild shapes happening and we can attenuate it with the low pass gate. <laughs> So a really bright sound like that. If we turn it up, we get louder harmonics. Okay. We also have, um, I forget what they call this. I think they call this uh, bias. Okay. 
Okay, so we're just setting up different interactions. Same thing with the bottom oscillator. And again, we can sequence these. We can use function generators. We can make all kinds of things happen. Um, this particular um, module also has some things you can set up where one, um, you can internally route the bottom oscillator into the top or vice versa. Uh, so if we can make all kinds of crazy stuff happen with that. Um, so in a way, this is its own function generator um, because I'm assigning, you know, the bottom oscillator to modulate the waveform of the top oscillator. And we can go all the way into audio rates. Okay, so it's still what shape, it's just a lot more of a complex shape. Okay, we can also modulate bias. <laughs> and it just makes... This thing just makes wild sounds. Um, we can... What else can we do? We It has built-in FM routed. Both linear and exponential. Make sure we don't blow our ears. Let me turn this up very slowly. Okay, so that's your basic overview of this. Um, I will probably show a function generator combined with this setup just to give you an idea, and maybe we'll revisit clocks too. Um, so same thing, what shape? But now our shapes are more um, interesting, I guess, or more, compl more complicated. They're not just saws and square tooth. They're like these wild shapes now.